Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Knight. Now, it's time to get into this. Uh, there's a couple of small little corrections I need to go over first. For starters, uh, when this thing came out, right, so in Dungeon Lords, every time a, you know, a, a monastery or a village is revealed, you have to place a dungeon tile. And if it's a monastery, you place a dragon as a dungeon. But you're not allowed to put them in swamps. And you can't put them in locations where, you know, there's a site already like that monster den. And there's no point in putting them in, you know, places they can't go because you need special cards to get there. So what I usually do is if I can't place them in a spot, I just discard them. But I don't really know what the rule is for this. And when this tile was explored, I placed it here, but there's actually a site there, as you can see. So this is supposed to be a site. And it's a good one too. And this one here, I usually discard. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do after this game, I'm gonna play that if I can't place it, yeah. So after this game, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to place them on rivers and on mountains. And then if a new tile opens up with the space it can go, it'll move. But uh, for now, I'm just going to discard like I normally do. I'm not quite sure of the actual rules for that. Also, in addition, this is a monastery and I did not draw a uh, tile for it. Now, it was drawn by Wolfhawk, so Wolfhawk, uh, I don't want to look at his hand, actually. I'm going to place it up here, just away. Or maybe I should probably place it there, but yeah, I'm going to put it up here, out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so that's that. Oh, there's one more correction, actually. Uh, when I used Horn of Wrath, I forgot to actually roll for the die. So every time you use this, you have to roll on a, on a red or a black, you gain a wound. Uh, so I forgot to do that. Let's just quickly roll. You blemo, you blemo. Go. Okay, that's a pass and no wound. Okay. Right, so let's start the game. Uh, first thing we have to do as Goldex is we can take our source thing back and when we take this back we can take a mana of any type there's only two colors here white or blue so let's take a blue since we've got two whites okay and now we are drawing to six because we're no longer standing at uh the uh you know our, our monastery uh keep i know what i'm saying it's actually very very early in the morning because i couldn't sleep so I'll try not to be too befuddled. I guess the plan here is to produce uh, seven move and either go to one of these locations. I think I'm going to go to the dungeon. If I can beat this dungeon, I can then use the flight to fly over here. Oh, you know what might be better is if I beat this, I can do an explore. I can fly over here and I can fight this next turn and then fly back and then have a huge draw, have an extra three cards. I think that might actually be the better plan to have a really powerful last day. So yeah, we can definitely get into those places because we've got mountain law right now, which uh, gives us five movement. So all I need to do is pay with a gold that's five, six, seven, and that gets me in. And we can definitely do this because I've got like so much power here. I've got like three resistance, plus I have another three resistance. That means I can take one wound on one unit, which only costs one card to heal and uh, suck up nine damage. So I can take huge amounts of damage without worrying about it. So, let's uh, move in here. What you got for us? 
Ah, oh, well, he's a wuss, isn't he? It's just three, which we can absorb. So we just absorb the three damage on him. Then we just have to hit him for seven attack. And uh, I can just go five. We've got two movement left. I'm just going to go... I don't want to use my crystal. Actually, I could discard my... Have I drawn crystal thing yet? Yeah, I haven't drawn my crystal disc power yet, so I could, no, I'm, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna go five attack, six, seven. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go five attack and then use this guy, six, seven. This guy's not locked. Lock him. Right, so that's a seven attack. He's dead. You blammo. That gives us a lowly three. Takes us to 38. We also go back one. We're now negative five. That's pretty horrible. <laughs> we have a, another one here. We're actually drawing to a massive nine cards now. That is crazy. And I think that be it. Yeah. So, next player, Yablamo. Sweet. Okay, Wings of Wind. We still haven't drawn our Uber card, which is awesome. We've got a spell that we attained earlier in the game that can basically destroy anything. I can't remember what it was, but I remember that the night effect was... Uh, just you know destroy target creature so we don't really need attack spells and we can fight huge things like dragons without much hassle i mean look at this dragon with our attack spell we can kill this guy by just taking a couple of wounds i mean he only causes two wounds the the hard bit about this guy is producing the 14 attack uh but we can just kill him in a one shot with that spell if we can get up there now we do have Wings of Wind, which is one of the best movement spells. It's just like you just get one space per movement. And unlike Misform, there's no restrictions. So we're just definitely gonna do that. So that is bam. And then we go one, two, three. God, I've got no movement. That's so bullshit. I'm going to go four, five. Where does that get us? One, two, three, one. Uh, let me have a look here. One, two, three, four, five. I can get to this monastery. Is there anything I want to buy? Well, there's Mana Storm, Learning, Ice Shield. There's some pretty good stuff in there. Or I can go one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to go there because this is a nice rich tile. There's two units and a ton of XP there. So, bam, that's five. And that's an expensive move, but necessary, I feel. Your blamo and your blamo. I've got to stop saying la blamo so much. Okay, so what's this guy going to do? He wants to get here, so that is six movement. Uh, we should be able to do that. Four. Some good cards here, but uh, I think I'm going to go crystallize. Bam. So that's uh, four, five, six. This is uh, plus one because this card gives us plus one move to each uh, movement. So that's four, five, six. And. He move into here. Ah, oh, he's a wuss. He does have brutal, but three damage isn't anything to worry about. And we're also on probably my favorite site. This is such a good site. It's called a monster den, right? And it's just two dungeon tiles, which really is pretty trivial at this stage of the game. You get a guaranteed artifact and three crystals. I mean, it is super powerful. 
plus, you know, you're looking at 10-ish XP for killing the tiles. And there's no restrictions. I mean, you can use units. It doesn't change it to night mode. It's awesome. The only problem is, is if you fail to defeat it, it respawns. But yeah, really cool, really cool location. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass though. What I need is move next turn. I guess I've got the, I guess I've got this move if I need it. That's move four, whatever, next guy. Now this dude is basically the clock for the game because he's using decompose all the time. So, oh, he's got another decompose. So. Yeah, he's using Decompose all the time, so he's actually discarded two cards, so his deck is the smallest. In fact, talking about discarding, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the gold. Decompose, and I'm just going to decompose this guy. When I first started playing this game, I was really anti the throwaway cards, but the more I've played, the more I've realized that the cards that make you throw cards out of the game are actually super redonkulously strong and a lot of the cards you can chuck out you don't need at all i mean if we looked at uh, this hand here uh this well not maybe not that hand but this this hand here we we drew like three movement cards you know we just just don't need them you know there's a lot of stuff you don't need you've got those heal cards you've got crystallize you know it's it's very easy if you get the right cards to build much better ways to generate crystals than those base crystal cards. So I actually love things like Decompose or uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Sacrifice or something. There it is. Ritual Attack is another good one. Whatever. Let's, uh, let's get on it. So that's done. But what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to tap my yeah I'm gonna tap my healer and use him to ready a level one or two unit I'm then gonna ready the magic familiar and then tap him straight away and that's gonna produce four uh, blah, 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 what am I doing that's gonna produce three for five movement I can count <laughs> and that's gonna give us an explore and possibly a move so flip a runeski. Okay, so we have another dungeon, dragon, and we have another dungeon, which has to go here. And ooh, some nice XP here. Uh, we need a ice movement card though. So we don't really need it, we can just move into the city. This is a friendly city, so we can just grab that. And the way you do friendly cities is you just, uh, everyone grabs a token. I usually don't bother doing this when I'm uh, playing solo because it's pretty, you know, you just say it's a friendly city. I set friendly cities by not setting their, uh, you know, their pug. So if, I've got, if you go four, that turns into a level four city. But, uh, oh, did I take the white city by accident? I did. Okay, so it's the blue city. And what this basically means is that everyone can access this. And the blue city ability is to buy spells. And the reason why is because in this mode, in this scenario, because dungeons are always dark, spells are really, really strong. Okay, so he's actually got three more movement left. He's out of cards. He's got two cards left. He's got one blue mana. So... We've got a choice. Basically, we can sit here and have a gold mana, a black mana at the beginning of the next turn, which might help if we draw a spell. Or what we're actually going to do is we're going to go three to here and farm blue crystals for the rest of the turn. So we'll finish the game with three blue crystals. Now, remember, when you declare end of round, you actually forfeit your turn. So you don't get a crystal at the end of the turn. So... What does blue crystal do for us? Gives us block plus three. Seven block, nice. That'll be nice. Okay, whatever. That's the end of that. One more turn. Let's do one more. Uh, bam. So that draws his entire hand. And there is our crystals. So... Huh. Well, I 
I guess he's going to spend four movement. Is, it, is there a blue up here? Yes. So he's going to spend four movement and tap flight. So he's going to do an explore. That's the last tile. Gets another dungeon. Another dragon. Gets another site. And he gets a mage tower, which automatically reveals. Look at this. Wish I was sitting there. Oh, look. Green crystals and a green crystal hand in. That's pretty handy. <laughs> I still think this is the plan to do. We're going to use flight to go one, two, and we're going to basically end our turn here. Next turn, I'll fly here and then just start powering through all this lot. Because I'll have so much card draw. I still think that's the best plan. Yeah, bam, and I'll just farm crystals for the rest of the turn. Boom. Let's draw up what you got for us. Okay, so we have 5, 10, or 10. Or 7. I still think I'm going to get the dungeons. Uh... That's eight movement. Wow. Ten movement. Remember, we don't need to worry about attack or anything because there's only four cards left, so we're guaranteed to draw that spell. It must be at the very bottom of the deck. So that's five, ten. So as long as you don't have a horrible wounding thing, we'll be fine. Okay, what you got for us? Okay, great. Ice attack. Blood of Ancients. Okay, we got a block. This is actually a pretty good hand. So he's going to activate the monster sporting ground. So we take two of these guys. This will probably be our only big combat for the turn. Okay, let's flippity do. Flippity do. Okay, so we have uh, Hydra. These guys are pretty nasty because they got paralyzed. They're actually more scary than you think. And we have a demon, a Tesla demon. Ah, from the Dark Force Elementals. These are pretty nasty, these demons. They've got assassination, which means that you can't assign damage to your units. That's what that little dagger is. And brutal. It's only six physical block and six attack though, but he's also got immunity. Now this isn't too much of an issue for us because we can actually kill him with this. Five range attack will kill him. We only need a blue die, which we happen to have up here. Your blammo. But you say this guy has six armor and this is five range. How's that working? Well, remember we have deadly aim, which is plus one. So that's actually six range attack. So he is dead. Don't have to deal with him at all. And now we have to deal with this guy. We need to produce four attack only. What have we got up here? Uh, what's this? Reduce the armor of one enemy block this way by three. And armor cannot be reduced below one. Okay, interesting. That would make that one attack. Reduce one enemy attack by two. Ah, oh, attack block five. Okay, let me have a look here. If I do this, that's plus two, minus two. That would make that two to kill. We also have Blood of Ancients, remember? Do we have anything that actually causes... Okay, that's just training. There's nothing in here. The, all we basically have is... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Didn't someone destroy a dungeon today? No, no one destroyed a dungeon. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's keep going. For some reason I thought, oh, that's right, because I, I ended up taking uh, this thing instead of the dungeon, didn't I? 
Right, I'm confusing myself. How best to do this? I kind of don't want to spend all my crystals. We have plus two attack. So... I'm going to do this thing here. So if I go Blood of Ancients, take one wound into my hand. Actually, I'm going to put it into my discard pile. Gain a wound to your hand or discard pile. Use the stronger effect of any card. Oh, this isn't in the advanced action offer, is it? So technically, I have the minute the monastery cards in this line here just for ease but these are actually part of the unit offer they go into the unit offer which means we can only use blood of ancients to do these cards here but i do have this you may discard any number of cards including one wound to increase their effect by two so what i can do is put that wound into my hand okay so this goes into my hand i gain a wound and then I activate Stat Resolve, which is three block. And you can discard any number of cards, including one wound, to increase the effect by two each. So that is three, four, five block. And I play this. And that gives us... Uh, reduce enemy attack by one. So this is now five to block. So now I've blocked this guy completely. I could just do this, couldn't I? I could just use this guy to not take a wound at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna, let's, let's, uh, let's redo this. So I'm just gonna tap him and spend a white crystal and then put a blue or a white mana and put a blue here so what this says is target unfortified enemy does not attack this combat so this guy doesn't attack so all we need to do is produce four uh, attack which is quite easily we can just go uh, like so that's three attack so I'm going to use this. No, I'm going to do this. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm rambling. Okay, so that's three attack plus two is five attack. So that's, uh, that's him dead. I think that's a bit better because we save on crystals and so we don't get a wound. Nice. So that's a lot of death. We have five. And we have five, that's 10, takes us to 26. Wow, he actually levels up. That's pretty good. Um, but he also gets a guaranteed artifact and he gets three crystals. So, First, let me roll for some crystals. Okay, so we have fame, a blue, and a gold. Gold is a crystal of our choice. So I think I'm gonna take a blue. Oh, I've already forgotten, and a blue. We already took a blue, blue and a gold. So take a blue and then I'm gonna take a white. Gives me a crystal of every color. And we also get a guaranteed artifact. So hopefully we'll draw something awesome, which we have, the mysterious box. Okay, I've actually never played with this card before. This is part of the new set. Basically, they did an update to this game, which a lot of people didn't buy. I didn't buy it because it was it, it literally had five new cards that was it and i just couldn't justify spending what is 140 dollars or whatever to buy five cards but this is one of them and it's awesome basically it's it's like a, a a wild card artifact but the crazy thing about it is every time you use it if you don't use the artifact see what you do you play the card and then you uh look at the top of the artifact deck and whatever the artifact you draw is the card that you use. 
But you, the Mysterious Box is that card. So if you want to use the discard effect, you discard Mysterious Box. But uh, it gives you a feint. But the crazy thing is, if you don't use the artifact, like if you draw a, de a dud artifact that doesn't help you, you put Mysterious Box back in your hand. Because every time you open it, it's something new. It is crazy strong, this card, I think. It's just bonkers. So we're definitely taking that. Very nice. Yeah, you know, it sort of bugs me this turn. We could have just killed him using uh, uh, Swift Reflexes and Concentration and just killed him in the range. But this guy's effect doesn't work on fortified units, right? And this guy's fortified, so he'd basically be dead. So using it now seemed like a good idea, but I just feel like, I don't know. I think we can do it with, I don't know. I think, I think that's the right play, even though we could have just ranged attacked that Hydra. So the Hydra's got four. So we could have ranged attack him and not have to block or anything. But like I said, this thing here, it only works on unfortified enemies. So it's basically dead next turn when we want to take over that keep. And this way we've saved our concentration to produce, you know, tons of block or whatever. What evs, man. Okay. And finally, I'm just going to discard a card and gain a blue crystal. Now we'll de declare end of turn next round. So I'll do the, the final video all for the day next time. And that's be that, man. Noise. I think I'm going to put a little die dispenser. There's, I don't know what this die dispenser is doing out here. That's an error. I think I'm going to put it. Oh, that's a, that's a thing. I, what I'm going to do, I think I might place a little die dispenser up here for the mod. So you can uh, put a little die dispenser here, just so you can very easily grab dice when you're doing the rolling. I put a little bin up there as well, so I can like trash things. So I can just go, yablamo. Whatevs, man. What am I doing? I'm rambling. Let's go. I'll see you guys next time.